What is up, YouTube? Mitch here with the Squatch Northwest YouTube channel, and we are back in the 1960, 63, 65. I don't remember what year this thing is anymore. Uh, single wide trainer trailer renovations, and uh, we are back on YouTube, and I'm excited for that. I have been very busy, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Share it with anybody you can. It's much appreciated. We are a quarter of the way of being monetized through YouTube, and we couldn't be more grateful. Much appreciated to you guys watching and commenting and subscribing, and please continue to do so. It really does help me and my family fulfill our dreams of doing this full time. And so we would like to keep doing this for you guys and putting out content and just doing stuff that you guys enjoy. So uh, anyways, today we're gonna be talking about the renovations on the trailer and decisions that we have made for the renovations. Um, mainly to get us in sooner, but also because of the newer technology that is out these days has really significantly changed the way that I plan on doing the renovation. So I'll start with some simple stuff. I'll turn the camera around. I'm over in my, my neighbor's property that don't live here. I was told they passed away inside of it. Um, I don't know because I obviously didn't live here yet. But anyways, I can't wait to clean and touch all this up. That's going to make it look so much nicer. I'm getting a nice pressure pressure washer, gas powered pressure washer here in the next couple months. So I'll be doing that for sure. Um, we talked about windows in one of my videos and for now, I'm not gonna touch them. It's probably gonna be a while. And if I do do the windows or when is a better question, a uh, better statement. When I do the windows, I'm gonna do them sections at a time just cause they are very, very spendy and i think it's just the best course of action to do so i'm not dropping a bunch of money at one time putting myself in a financial bind um that's leaning on the shed yep that's my power cable we're just gonna ignore that we're gonna act like that never happened <sighs> great anyways all right uh one of the things that me and my dad talked about is we are going to make sure that we have access to this crawl space that is underneath this trailer and i think i'm going to do it back here until somebody actually moves into this place so i have access and i don't have to keep taking the panel off and putting it back on so i'll probably end up doing that um this is that back bedroom it's going to be natalie's room it's one of the windows so um definitely got to get that cleaned up and good to go we are doing a lot of cleaning today. Turn this back around so we're not staring. So you guys aren't looking at my neighbor's cars. I don't want to be rude on YouTube. I highly doubt they're watching. But hey, if you guys are, thank you. Appreciate it. Come over and say hi sometime. Um, oh, speaking of YouTube and the monetization and all that, we are 250 subscribers away from the first step in becoming a uh, partnership with YouTube. So thank you once again. We do appreciate that. Um, in that partnership, it is pretty much only a uh, donations and super like partnership, which I'm, I'm still beyond ecstatic that we're even that close to that part, let alone the monetization part of it. Um, I don't want donations from you guys, if I'm being honest. I said it in my last video and I'll say it again. Um, I don't need handouts. I don't want handouts. If you guys want to help in any process of this, I would prefer it in person, honestly. Or if you want to buy me some materials, a sink, a you know some some new stuff for the kitchen, the bathroom, anything, I would much prefer that over somebody's money. Um, I just I don't I don't like taking money from people. I don't panhandle. I don't do none of that kind of crap. I make my own money. So if you guys want to help the channel out by you know sending money i'd much rather you do it maybe gift cards everybody likes gift cards because then you can buy stuff for the house um we're buying most of what almost fell porch is a little uneven um i am buying most of our stuff from home depot and amazon and my work and just everywhere that i can uh for now but we are just going to continue to purchase things from Home Depot. We don't live very close to one. It's like 30 miles away, but it's close enough that if I needed to, they can ship it to me, which I like a lot. Luna, get in the truck. Come on. Get in the truck, Luna. Luna, come on. Get in the truck. Hey, puppy, get in the truck. Come on. 
So, yeah, that's definitely something we will be... Alright, well that was fun. I unexpectedly had to turn the video off. Sorry about that, but like I've said before, and I'll say it again, I don't edit my videos. I don't cut stuff out. So you'll see a little bit of a weird transition there, but it's alright. Hey, it happens. It's life. Um, I want this to be as transparent as possible. So, back to what we were saying. Um, I don't want donations. If you guys want to help the channel out and help us grow and progress with this, especially with this renovation project, um, help us with getting stuff and materials for the trailer. Um, or just like gift cards to Amazon because we're always buying you know, flooring material, sinks, and just random stuff. So if, if you guys wanted to help, I would never ask you guys to do anything if you want to. That would be the way to do it. That way I'm not, you know, having you guys send us money. And I think that's insane. I don't want nobody's money. Um, while I'm standing right here, one of the biggest renovations that we planned on doing is actually right here. Um, right here, that sliding glass doors to the master bedroom. The addition of the master bedroom. And we are actually going to keep that addition. It is very poorly done, so I'm going to redo it. But that is okay. It is a decent structure and I'm just going to make it better. One of the things that we want to do is going from that sliding glass door of the master bedroom is going to be coming this direction and there's going to be a porch that comes off of that sliding glass door and is going to eventually connect to this porch. So it won't be very wide, but it'll be nice to have, that is for sure. And obviously it'll be covered and all that fun stuff. And then it's eventually going to wrap around to the front side of the porch. And the main reason we're doing that is to have an area for the dogs and an area for Natalie to hang out. Plus, it's not going to be covered right here. So it'll come off of this, come down, and then obviously come to our driveway. So it'll be a decent size. And then we'll, I'm going to change, I'll probably change the way the stairs look. And all that whole porch is going to get redone. It's, it's very uneven. Uh, I'll see how the structure is after I take the panels off of the floor and see what that looks like. So that is definitely one of the things that we'll be doing. I think that'll look really good with a porch right there. My neighbor kind of has a similar thing that's across the street from me, and I, I like it. And her dogs seem to really like it, and they poke their heads out and bark at cars driving by. So let my give my dogs that satisfaction as well. Um, while I'm over here, let's talk about the roof. So this roof is strange. It is uneven as heck and the additions all have shingles on the roof which i don't like i'm not a big fan of shingles they don't last very long i'm sure plenty of you guys i mean i shingled a, a roof on a on a uh what do you call it a shed with tar and everything and that was pretty good but i did it and i know that i did it well with my dad so i don't want to take somebody else's mess up if they didn't do shingles correctly and then have to rely on that so the material that we have chosen um is called tpo and i don't remember what it stands for but i talked about it in my first video this is the second video of today and we have chosen it because it has a 30-year warranty it has um it has uv protection it is extremely strong. It's not like the old school stuff they use on these trailers. That little rubber cap they put on these things is just doo-doo. And they just obviously are known not to last. And most people change that and go to shingles or some newer materials. Or, you know, like we were going to go, we were going to go um, galvanized. We were going to go galvanized roofing. But after doing a bunch of research on TPO, and I noticed that a lot of the businesses are switching to that probably for a good reason if, I mean, if you own a business and you want to keep it secured and long lasting you're going to use the best stuff so if businesses are using tpo it's probably a really good material and since it's available to the public i am 100 percent going to do my roof in tpo which does save me a lot of time and money actually when i really look into it um, i don't have to change the convex of my roof which is going to take a lot of time all I have to do is take the old rubber cap that's on this thing off and then put and roll the new one on with better materials. Obviously, we're going to maybe there might even be some of the boards we have to switch out, which is no big deal, but it still saves us a ton of time and money. So that is definitely the route that we're going to go. 
Um, the material itself is pretty expensive. I will not lie about that. It is more expensive than the galvanized roofing, but that guarant that 30 year guarantee is such a big stress relief. The fact that it has a warranty and um, if anything happens to it, they will send me material to patch it or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked about that. It is, it is such a big stress relief when you don't have to turn the camera back around when you don't have to worry about things like that. I mean, 30 years is a long time. I highly doubt I'm even going to be in this thing 30 years, but you know, just, to just to have that, um, that sense of satisfaction and to not have to worry about that is really nice. So I'll give you guys a look if you haven't seen it yet. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll give you guys a look at the roof. So this is the roof panels that were like that. We took off of this thing. You can see that is what the underneath of the roof looks like. So that is definitely something that we will address. It's got some type of galvanized metal, but as you can see in certain spots, that being the, the worst one, which really isn't even that bad, in some spots, it just hasn't held up to the course of time. And we can make that better. That is not the hard part. And I'm very happy to say that. Um, this stuff that was underneath this galvanized steel, that was underneath this galvanized steel was probably meant as like a, like a sound barrier ish and probably for like heat retention. And I, I'm not hundred percent sure. Like I said, I've never, I wasn't born in 1960 something and I wasn't around when this stuff was built. So if you guys were, if you know what that is, please comment on this. And you know, if it is decent stuff, I wouldn't mind using it. That's a big no, no. If you can see what I'm looking at, <laughs> don't do that people oh my gosh um god some people just just leave the drills alone anyways um so right now natalie's over here cleaning the kitchen and we are gonna clean everything on this side of the house and on in the bathroom because that's pretty much the only areas we're using uh, we don't use the kitchen, but we use the restroom because it's a nice working plumbing system, so might as well use it. Um, we're going to clean the floors, clean the windows, just make it look and smell a little bit better in here. And uh, just, just because we can, might as well. We don't have any big projects going on, so we might as well clean it. Might as well take our time and clean it. Um, so the big renovations that we're going to do since we're in the kitchen... Um, obviously is just gonna be simple counter stuff I mean this I like the looks of this counter because it kind of has that breakfast nook style to it so you can have you know the high stools and eat and all that fun stuff right here so I like that a lot I just will probably change the look of it obviously the, the, the colors or whatever heck it is that I do to it um, the sink obviously is a big one. I would like to go deeper sinks, even stainless. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, cabinets, that's another one. I don't mind the look of the cabinets, just the colors and all those things definitely have to be changed. The color is just, I don't, brown is a really interesting color. I don't even, it's like, it's more of a purple. I don't even know what to call this color. It's just gross. Um, stove. I hate that I can't go gas. I mean, it's kind of a hell of a process along with getting approval to go gas. So it just ain't gonna happen. The other big thing is this weird China cabinet, vanity, whatever the heck this is. It's just stupid. Like, what is that cut out for? Put a chair in for a computer? I don't know what that is. It doesn't do anything. It's just wrong. Just bad, bad installation. I don't care for it. I mean, storage, I don't freaking know. I just don't like it. There's no need for it. So we're probably gonna cut some of this wall out and just open up this kitchen to give us a real nice size kitchen. Obviously I have a place for a refrigerator which will probably be in the corner or, you know, and I probably won't put a refrigerator over here because there's so much good natural lighting right here. Probably a refrigerator over in this corner. There's so much good natural lighting right here that 
I want to keep that. I want to keep this open and just let that light come in here. Because even without the light on, there's only one light on right now. The other one I don't even think works. Um, even without the light on, there's tons of light in here. So we want to keep that for sure. And then I, I don't care for a dining dining area. Never been a big dining area person. So even thought about doing like a little walk-in pantry. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Just throwing ideas out there. Once again, if you guys have ideas for this spot, along with opening up our kitchen, let us know. Um, if you have any, uh, in, in, any experience doing these, please do it. Let us know. Um, yeah, I'll, even, I'll even take some help. <laughs> um, just, yeah, if you have a drawing, put, put the drawing down in the comments. Put a, anything. It's any type of help is always much appreciated. So that is mostly for the kitchen. That obviously is going to come out too. It's just kind of in the way. It's a weird angle. So when you come through the door, I have to come through the door sideways going that direction. So I'm going to take that out too. I highly doubt it's load bearing. It's just this, some of these trailers just aren't really, don't really have too many load bearing walls. A single wide. You got to remember that. So the structure is pretty much a big, long rectangle with rooms in it. That's all a single wide is. Very, very easy. Um, this stuff right here, I noticed this in my one of my last videos, and I didn't even pay attention to it before. It is like a uh, like a bedding material almost. It is very very strange. And why to put that and wrap it around the kitchen breakfast nook thing? I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Don't like it. So that is definitely something else we will have to address. It might be down the road, but it will be eventually. Uh, the walls, we are probably just going to TSP prep paint walls. Um, I don't know what colors she's picking out. We are going to do that down the road and maybe even make a video about it after we discuss it. Um, but she is picking the colors for pretty much everything for the house. The, the woman, of course, not, not Natalie. Um, she can pick her own colors for her bedroom, but for the rest of the house, no, it'll be... It'll be Brie. Brie is going to be picking out the the colors for the house. Um, here's more of that dark brown wood stuff. I don't know what this color is. I don't know how well you guys can see that in the camera, but it is like brown purple. Maybe it's just because of over time or something. I don't know. Really, really strange color. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to get some more of these windows cleaned today, the kitchen cleaned. Just have it look and smell a little bit nicer in here. Because there's not much else we can do in this place before we start the actual roof. Which will obviously stop the leaking that is currently happening. It's not raining that bad today, which is nice. It's just really cold. Um, so hopefully stop some of that leaking so we can actually get to work on this floor. My dad actually made a tool. This is pretty cool. This is a great renovation tool. So this thing right here, I'm sure maybe you guys have seen these before. So to get the tile up, use one of those down there. Well, the pole it comes with is kind of flimsy and you have to do more work than the pole does to make it work so he got this big old piece of of steel steel rod of some kind it almost looks like a big old breaker bar i mean on like a like a uh, what do you call that a pry bar and uh welded or he screwed on that piece down there so we can take it on and off if we were getting need more of them and that's to get up some of this tile when we do this floor Brie, speaking of renovations, Brie has definitely made up her mind with carpet. So the whole house, besides the kitchen and the bathroom, is going to be carpeted. And so, not what I would have gone with, but hey, it's alright. She's making the choices on this stuff. I'm just going to do it. Um, oh yes, there's some of that roofing stuff. So this stuff is strange, man. It like breaks apart. Like particle board. Probably all it is is particle board. Nasty stuff. Um... So yeah, that is that is the ideas for the floors and the walls, paint and carpet. Um, the living room layout. Uh, let me stand. I'll stand in the kitchen. It's probably the best way to get a, a good. I'm trying not to stand. I'm not trying to walk underneath these water drops. Um, stand in the kitchen, get a better view of the whole living room, which is pretty decent size actually. So this side of the living room, and there's still another side over there. This is, would, would have been the original, right about there, would have been the original single wide. 
So with the addition on there, it makes it significantly larger, of course, which we like a lot. Um, we are going to most likely do a L-shaped couch, which would probably be on this side, with um, our recliner couch over there. And then my chair is most likely going to be on that side, which is my big, my lazy boy, my big lazy boy chair. Um, that'd be so nice to have that again. I missed that thing already. And then our entertainment system is most likely going to be on that side. I just, with the way the plugins and everything is set up, it works the best like that. Plus I don't want to have my back to the street. It's kind of um, an old job habit of mine, putting my back to certain things. So I just want to be facing this direction. I think it is the best. And also with the light, I like it a lot better. I want the light shining on the television. So I think this right here is the best way to go. And I don't want to cover up that window so I can always see who's coming towards the porch. So we're going to figure out how we do that. Um, well, that'll be down the road, but entertainment system in that general area with the television. So that'll, that'll look really good when it's done. Same thing with the walls, paint, change the windows out someday, but not anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, now we will head towards the first bedroom, which is a playroom and possibly even my computer room as well. Um, so that's something that we're going to discuss down the line, but it's, we're going to keep it extremely simple. Not a lot of work needs to be done in here. The roof was, or the, the, um, ceiling was already redone. So we're not touching that one, which is really nice. We don't have to do anything to that roof or that ceiling. So just rewiring, uh, cover up the vents and that's about it in this room. Maybe I'll, I'll redo some of that stuff. That's just what kind of color is that dookie green? Nobody wants to see that. Why? Yeah, that's yeah, ugly. But now we got. Oh, why'd you stop working? Cold. Get back to cleaning. I am. Yeah, child labor over there. Don't worry. Don't worry. I fed her. I fed her. I gave her some food. It's good enough. And like any any good parent would do, I bribed her with candy. All right. Don't don't judge me. Don't, don't judge me. All right. Yeah, that's good. You still got a lot more to do. See, keep them in line. You got the floors and the stove and oh, I know you didn't scrub those counters good enough. You've been here for 10 minutes. Clean better. All right, this dark ass hallway. Let me uh, turn the light on. There we go, that's a little better. All right, dark hallway. Yes, going into the restroom. So we've been using it. We like this restroom a lot. Um, it is actually in very good working condition. It's just ugly. So once we, uh, get it to where it's not ugly, we will use it even more. Plus the water situation. So we do not currently have hot water. Um, not that big of a deal yet cause we're not in here, but that is definitely something that needs to be done soon. Like very soon. It'd be nice to have hot water in here when we're cleaning and doing stuff like that. So the restroom, same situation. All of this is getting ripped out. This is her idea, of course. All of this is getting ripped out. It'll be um, Vanity Island with a, probably a side shelf coming towards the door. So it kind of covers up this general area. And then uh, I don't know what we're going to do for storage on the wall. I can't put anything super heavy on it. There's not a lot of weight that could be held by these walls so we might not do one of those might just do like a like a stack because there's going to be a gap right here now between the toilet or the the shower and the, the the sink so we might do like a tower and so we'll do that and then the shower is just an insert so what we're going to do is we're going to take out this insert which was poorly put in here because it's not a full insert i'll when i start taking it apart i'll show you guys this is <laughs> this is pretty weird how they did this i don't understand this one that is for sure i mean it's like bondo and stucco uh, i was playing with it the other day it's not an insert so i thought this whole thing was an insert it is not there is 
drywall, which is like, it's, oh, that's not even real drywall. Never mind. You can tell by the sound. That's not real drywall. This right here is like half of a, half of one of those cutouts, right? And then they like bonded it. Can I see it? <laughs> like bonded it with, uh, um, I don't even remember what that, what is that stuff called that you're supposed to put around like the edges down there? Anyways, they used a lot of that stuff. Um, obviously didn't work. And then where that piece came down, it didn't match down to here. So they stuck this piece, this metal piece here. They stuck that in there and then, uh, stuck another piece of that weird drywall behind that. It is interesting to say the least. So yeah, that's got to come out. Luckily it'll just be demo. So I'm not trying to be nice about that, taking that out and I'm not going to be nice about taking that out. These cabinets as well, probably just going to be removed. Might not put cabinets back into this. It depends. We're going to look into that, talk to, talk to each other about it and come up with an idea. Um, the toilet, same the toilet situation. We're going to get a new toilet. Um, discuss that obviously the toilet works great so we might not have to go that route clean it up maybe make it look a little pretty maybe paint it I don't know we'll see but for the most part it works pretty damn good I do like the restroom in here so the kids bedroom which is Natalie's bedroom is luckily probably one of the easiest so uh, the walls painted roof or a ceiling painted but the ceiling itself is already done i have to look under that because as you can see the discoloration to make sure that there's no water going in there that's big 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 um we'll take off these boards for the window i don't really understand that one um i don't know actually my dad might have done that my dad might have done that to keep people out i, I actually don't know that one i have to ask him about that um, but yeah, don't want boards on the window. It'd be nice to have some light in here. But once again, discoloration, kind of hard to see, man. The lighting in this thing is horrible. Discoloration needs to get taken care of, cut out, redo, all that fun stuff. Um, there is some uneven spots on the ceiling. Um, it's kind of like waves. I'm trying to like, oh, it's almost impossible to tell. I'm trying to look through the viewfinder and do it at the same time. Um, it's a weird wave and that's causing a gap in the roof and the ceiling connection right in that corner that has to be addressed. Um, we just want to make sure that it is sealed and not going to leak. I'll also allowing cold or hot air into here when we don't want it. Um, this room right here, this can literally be a whole YouTube video on itself on what the plan is for this thing. Um, it's a lot of work. The master bedroom is by far the biggest headache of this place. And it's not a bigger headache enough to tear it down and restart because the structure and what I'm standing on currently is extremely strong. So I have to, I have to just work with it and make it happen. And I know I can with the help from my dad's help. I'm pretty confident that we can get it done. Um, plus, like I said, if you guys want to help or offer anything, I don't even care if it's it, a couple of screws, man. I, I, we will take anything um, in terms of the, you know, the, the partnership with YouTube of allowing us to accept um, donations and super likes and all that. So, yes, anything is much appreciated. But... One thing I do really like about this room, I'll go to this corner over here. The thing I really do like about this room is just the size. I mean, I'll probably turn the camera around this way, so it's facing me. This is the furthest corner of the room, and you can just see just how large it is. For a single wide trailer, this room is massive. I know it's an addition, but to have this size of a room in a single wide trailer to me is just bizarre. I love it a lot. It is extremely nice. Plus, once again, natural lighting. My trailer is even in the way. My fifth wheel is even in the way. And it still has great lighting coming in here. And it'll even be even better when we cut this weird... I don't even know what this is, man. This shed thing that they were trying to build. When we cut that all out and make our porch, it'll even have more good lighting coming in here. So, 
lots of things to look forward to but lighting is not going to be an issue um we're just just the windows and figuring out that down the road there's only one broken really bad broken window in this whole trailer and it's right there and they're probably using that these crackheads and squatters are probably using that to get in and out so we'll have to get that addressed eventually but once we get done with the roof luckily it'll be almost summer so we won't have that big of an issue with weather so I have to take that whole thing off, probably even take the window off or even patch it or whatever I need to do for now so that we can get to work on some of this stuff in here. Um, roof supports, they've done two really well and the rest really poorly. So we just got to go back in and finish, picked up where they picked, where they left off. So um, that is pretty much the rest of the renovations that we have planned for this place. I was only going to make like a 20 minute video, it's turned into a 30 minute video, but uh, I just wanted to get you guys up to date and once again apologize for the fact that we haven't been making videos, life has been pretty crazy and I did that in another video describing what's been going on uh, in our life, but we didn't forget about you guys, I promise. So stay tuned, keep watching, subscribe, like, comment, share it with everybody you can and we will catch you guys in the next video.